so the 5150 is finally been remade. Hey everyone, it's Jamie Slays, and today we're going to talk briefly about the new 5150 amp. The 5150 has been around forever, and I'm still surprised to believe that it is the EVH signature, only because I used to own a 5150 and I've played loads and I've played the plugins and I've played, you know, the reiterations of them and they're so high gain, kill decision gauge, parkway drive, machine head, the list goes on of the bands in my lifetime at least that have used that iconic amp and now they use either the 6505 or the 6505 plus or the EVH5153, which is what we're talking about today, sort of. Um, I think a while ago Wolfgang posted a a video or a picture on his Instagram, Wolfgang being EVH's son, Eddie Van Halen. Um, and in the background, which I will include a picture here somewhere, there was like a an amp that looked like a 5150, like the traditional one, not the kind of new one. And it didn't have a big EVH logo. It had like a big 5150 logo and then a tiny 5150. Um, or EVH even, um, as you'll see in the picture. And then everyone was like going mental. because they're like, oh my God oh my god it's coming back again and then i think people found out that um the guy who makes the original one uh, or designed the original one sorry has joined fender so everyone was starting to speculate are they bringing out the 5150 again so i'm proud to say today that yes the answer is the 5150 iconic series is being released look at this so it says summer nam summer nam is soon i think because nam winter and summer have both been announced as happening but yeah, look, there's the uh, 5150 Iconic Series 40 watt 2, uh, 1 by 12 combo black, sorry. Uh, all the controls are up on the top here. This is the back, it's got its power and standby. So I thought we may as well just have a look at it because I actually obviously don't know anything about it. I just heard all these rumors. Um, and then my good friend Nine Corneal posted this morning that uh, he'd done a video about it. So I was like, oh my God, it must have been announced. And yeah, you can see here, 40 watts with a quarter power switch which I guess means you can lower the power so it's not as loud when you're in your house built in noise gate, that's cool oh sick I mean most people will probably use their own one if you've got like a Fortin Zool or an ICP decimator or anything but I, I want to hear how good that one is, built in solo boost that's sick so I guess that's like a lot of amps like the Driftwood Purple Nightmare come now with a tube screamer and a noise presser built into it essentially so I think a lot of other people are doing the same thing. Preamp tubes, two ECC83S. Power tubes, two JJ6L6s. So that's cool. Custom voice Celestian EVH, 16 ohm. Built-in reverb and built-in effects loop. Wow. I mean, for £699 in England, I imagine dollars, it might be like £899 or it might just be $699 in dollars. That's actually pretty good. Um, but we're all here and I'm here for... Oh, it's on page two down here. Uh, for the head, comes in ivory as well, so it's basically the same, just in white. <coughs> comes in ivory as well, so I guess it will just be the same but white as the, does the head. And then there's a cab that comes in both colours as well. All right, let's look at these. This is what we're all here for. So I guess also this is a chance for EVH to make their own rendition of what the iconic 5150 sound was. And it looks possibly like, just from looking, it's similar to the 5150 two as in the dash two or the 6505 plus because it has as it appears to have more than one channel or two channels or three channels i had the original 5150 and it just had green and red and the green was essentially a clean channel if you drove the gain all the way down and turned the volume up or i used to use the green as my main riff channel and then the red one was the solo one um which i think a lot of people did the green one you keep over five gain or six gain and put a tube screamer on in it and it's still just as loud and as crunchy and as boomy as you'd want it to be that looks sick i mean i like the 5150 logo that it looks like it's from like an airplane or something but yeah I'm, I'm probably gonna have to um get one sent over at least for demos i might have to buy one just because it is the 5150 and it's the best amp that ever existed so if it's just the same as the original one or better which i hope it's better then yeah, I'm probably gonna have to get one. Um, I don't own a 5150 anymore, I used to. Um, as you'll see on the screen there, there's a picture of me with two of them. Um, but yeah, I sold it because I stopped being in a band and then kind of sort of regretted it ever since. But hey, 
you live and you learn. So one input, two speaker jacks, two channels. So yeah, it's probably like the original 5150 with only two channels, but maybe it'll be like a clean slash crunch and then a lead one. But yeah, oh, there's two gains, channel one and two. Two volumes, boost, reverb, resonance, presence. Yeah, it looks, it, it, it looks, literally looks as if it is the same as the original one. Friday the 1st of October, so that's not too far away. Um, let's look at the cabs, let's see what speakers are inside. I'm hoping for um, Celestian V30s. Let's have a look, probably not. Uh, well, it's basically, yeah, it's their own EVH Celestian custom speaker. Constructed with MDF with a plywood baffle available in, yeah, either black or white. Two recessed side mounted steel bars, removable pop out casters. 160 watts though, pretty loud. Um, I don't need a cab, I've already got a 2x2 two by, two by Zilla. Thanks, guys. Um, you never know, when they do the demo, they might send me a cab as well, just to demo both, or they might just send me a combo, or again, I might just have to buy one. But yeah, my good friend Neil, um, I think, said he's bought one, he's already ordered one as well. Um, he is endorsed by EVH, so obviously he'll be putting his name down and getting discount and all that kind of stuff as well. But yeah, I definitely, definitely want to try one, if not buy one. And I love that they've even got the original dials as well. So yeah, what do you think about that one? Let me know in the comment section below what you think of the new 5150 Iconic range. Um, I'm pretty excited. Um, I really like the EVH 5153 stuff. I don't actually own any, but now I have a Quad Cortex. I've got a lot of captures, pointing at it, it's right here. Uh, I have a lot of captures of it on there and I use them quite a lot. I always use the Nolly plugin and that is based on a 6505, I think, or a 5150, I can't really remember. Um, and it sounds amazing as well. Um, so yeah, it'll be cool to get one. I hope I can get my hands on one fairly soon. But yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you think of it. Are you gonna get one? Do you think it's just hype? Is it gonna be the best amp that was ever made again? Like the video if you enjoyed it when I do stuff like this because it's cool just to do kind of reactions and um, talking about new products that are coming out. And if you're new to the channel and you found it purely from this video, Hit that subscribe button and press the bell because when I upload new videos, you'll be notified of those and then you can come and watch some more. I'll see you guys next week for some more videos.